not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not around the corner, down the valley, to the highs and to the low. When the seas departed in all kinds of red seas and orange and shit, yeah, with the eclipse today. <laughs> yeah. Did you all get to see that? Who got to see the eclipse? Eclipsing. I think we all still here, huh? Well, you know, they come with them damn things all the time talking about, well, the end of the world. We're going to turn into zombies. We probably already are zombies. Fuck, we know. <laughs> you never know. We probably are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm just sitting around waiting for you all to fuck it up, fuck it up, tear it up, tear it up. Rachel, Leonta, 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 what you been doing, Leonta? Hey, boo, I got the fast forward. I'm going to have to check on her. Anesta. How you been? How you been? How you living? How you living, baby? Angel. Ann. Mammy. Somebody, Mammy. Go on over there by your Mammy. You know that's what they say that everywhere, I think. That's just not in the world. Mammy. 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 <laughs> Raynesha and Michael, what's going on, Mike? Huh? How's it going? Mm -hmm. Angel again and again and again. Audrey, how are you? Where's Andre? Andre, where Andre went? I just saw him. Oh, uh -uh, Andre, they booted you all the way around the corner somewhere, baby. I don't know about all that. Mr. Ty, what's going on, Mr. Ty? How are you? Have you had a good day? Cash Monty. All right, now. There you go. I wanted to make sure. I didn't even look to see, but I see you got it. Okay, cool. Miss mm -hmm. Connie, how are you? Girl Tech, fill it with the swag. Fill it with the swag. You be swagging. Y'all don't know about that. Y'all know about that swag shit. <laughs> he do. That's why his name is... Ugh, fuck it. They know. They know. Miss Connie again. Ooh, ooh. Lego. Lego. Lego my ego. Mike Butler. Can I get my Lego my ego? Was that in which... Welcome. Mm -hmm. Rita. Wody. Mm -hmm. That's Wody. You know, when I met Rita, that was the first thing she ever told me. Was there a Wody? Mm -hmm. So that's why I call her Wody. Just a little back information, FYI. You know I got to tell it to them there, Rita. They don't even know what I got to let them know. Malika, what's going on, Malika? Ray, Andre, there you go. You at the very top? How the hell did I skip over you? Where you at? No, you're not. Oh, my bad. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Please tell mom don't be mad with me tonight because I did that. That was a boo-boo. I didn't mean it. I think I might have said it, though. I don't know. But you know, I know you're here. I know that. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Okay. Where did I leave off? Mike Butler. Okay. There we go. Welcome, Mike Butler. Retro. Mm -hmm. Now, who's going to come tiptoeing in? Let's see. They're going to try to tiptoe in and go all the way to the top. All the way to the top. Mm -hmm. RLH, what's going on with you? Mm -hmm. What you did today? Let me find out. Let me find out, Woody. Black gal, you've been black all day, I hope, huh? You know they had that uh over there. I think the skies went dark in Texas. We just had clouds and shit here. Well, the street lights came on. But that was it. <sighs> Ain't that some shit? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm going to give y'all a few little minutes to get on in here. Um, whoever's coming. 
I know other people probably lie. I don't be checking y'all. I, I really don't. I don't be knowing who's live and who's not. I just check the fuck in. That's all. And enjoy the day. How about that? Uh-oh. 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 What a beautiful way to start the day. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go, Mr. 86K. You got to stop making my ass laugh. You know that, huh? Not only do you have an accent, you know, but you just say shit. You just throw it. Kind of reminds me of me. You know, you just throw shit out there. <laughs> Nobody knows. Thank you, though. Bam. Bada bing. Right there. Mm -hmm. If at any time you all wish to donate, you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I ain't even got the shit up. Ooh. Banners. Active. Mm -hmm. What else I need to activate? That's about it, I think. Mm -hmm. That's it. Bada bing, bada boo, bada what you, what you, what you gonna do? What's going on with a tuberculosis? Woo! That's a lot. You got all kind of consonants and vowels and that shit, and a few numbers and shit, huh? All right now. Would it do it when dark that I mm hmm mm hmm Oh, you did? Mm -mm -mm. I found that it was a beautiful thing just looking at how slow it was moving in front of the sun. I was really taken away. Yeah, it was a beautiful thing. And nobody even knows. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Wody. <laughs> Behave, Wody. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. The street lights came on here. That was it. That was it. Not a nail, not a black gal. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you, sweetie pie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, see, I'm amped up. Y'all done did that. I'm, I'm amped. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm popping. Mm -hmm. I sure am. Now, what we're going to do that's on the avenues for today is we're going to do an audio reaction to uh, the interview with TJ, with Bat Max on it. Mm -hmm. Now, I've done everything I needed to do, and uh, I made it faster. I did everything, my editing. I'll put a little music on. I kind of like the little vibe music we had last night, you know, something mellow. I'm not all of that, uh, what you call that shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to hit the like button there because you know I don't even start doing shit till that's done. Mm. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that at you real quick for whoever want to catch it. While I catch this. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord for Strawberry Dr. Pepper. That's the shit. That's the shit. I'm just letting y'all come on in uh, for a minute. The most dangerous men in prison. Look at this hippo. Fat backs. And it's looking dead at me. How many whiskers does it have? It's a big ass hippo. Bolo, that's your shit. Lord, how you got a hippo? What is going on with, oh Lord, I see Bolo. I don't know if you're in here yet. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Go DJ, that's my DJ. You know, I say that when DJ Memphis come in. You heard me? Mm -hmm. Got it like that. We sure do. Mm -hmm. Catherine, you've blessed me. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. Ooh, it's going to be a high damn couple of digits on payday here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Catherine. And welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, can you smell it? Can you smell what 504 is cooking? Baby back ribs mm -hmm. and lettuce salad today. See, I'm going to fuck up the pork <laughs> and then I'm going to fuck up the salad. You see what I'm saying? So if I cheat on the, the I'm going to fuck it up for y'all. So I'm going to just punish it. You hear me? I'm going to punish it. That's what I'm going to do. Always me. What's going on with it? Monique, I see you coming on in the house. Of course, I see DJ Memphis. Mm-hmm. Ask you, no go. Mm -hmm. Making sure I ain't cut nobody out. So yes, okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this um audio reaction here, and it's going to be audio reaction to the um interview that those two had. Okay, we're gonna bust and break that down, and I don't have to rush. I can take my time tonight. Mm -hmm. My princess is off. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I know y'all like that, huh? Because the longer I'm on, the more I'm going to throw the fuck out here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you there, Bolo. You came at the right time. I was just talking about this damn hippo that I saw on my TV. I didn't even know it was your damn hippo. This big-ass hippo you got. And it's still in the water. All I see is its eyes. How do the hell do a hippo be so big and they got little bitty nickel-sized ears? That's all fucked up. I don't ever want to come back as a hippo. Thank you. I love you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Just keep me sleeping if I come back looking like a hippo. Yeah, just let me stay the fuck out. <laughs> I'm black girl. <laughs> Please, I know they say we come back as something, okay? I don't know if we get to pick or what, but I just want to throw a little hint out there to my father up in heaven, okay? Just a hint. <laughs> I don't want that one. <laughs> mm -mm. You know, um... Do I got my big pot? Yeah. All right. And I got everything ready, y'all. Just got to get this little music. Nene, y'all snuck in. I see y'all. Mm -hmm. Creeping. They be creeping. Watch the, watch the, wild, watch them niggas. Y'all ain't never heard that song? West Bank be creeping. Everybody be creeping. <laughs> Just watch them. I don't know. That's a bounce song. Those are the songs that when bounce come on in New Orleans, we don't care where the fuck we at. You could be at a red light. Everybody about to bounce. White folks and all, they bounce too. They might be a little off beat, but they be bouncing their ass off. Trust me, they do. I be seeing them. That's how I be in the car. I see y'all. All right now. Let me find out. Mm, mm, mm. Let damn D know that smoke is starting to come out my damn bait. Mm. Oh, shit. Just to make a mad. Oh, pop it on there then, nigga. Ooh, where I'm at right now? 150? No, 140. <laughs> Please, hammer, don't hurt him. What you doing? Ooh, you about to make a mad, mad, guy. big, big, big old man. I'm hollering too, Wody. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. Oh, you know they going to talk about that, baby. Oh, they about to tear it up. Flag. They add it again. 
They gave the bitch. They gave the bitch 150. Call up everybody. Wake up the dead. Flag them. Mm -hmm. That's what they're gonna be doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We know you ain't gonna ask for his shit back, huh? No, the other shit might be gone. I ain't even checked it. I think it's still sitting there though. <laughs> Maybe he's scared to move it. He can if he won't. I mean, I'm not stopping him. It is what it is. The mind of a killer. Mm -hmm. What can make a child grow up to be a killer when they're nine years old and shit? These little motherfuckers out there. Ah, never mind. I'm about to go. That's what you got to do. I mean, they're young. Little nine year olds, they looking for a little boy now. Got here. The little boy, I think he was out there. Let me see. Let me see. I think that was in a nine year old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That five times. Now, how does a child that's only 10 get shot five times? Mm -hmm. Trina. What's going on with it, Trina? Yeah. Yeah, Trina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, Trina, I be thinking you from here because, you know, we be saying yeah here a lot, too. We be answering up. I'm about to go to the store. Yeah. Y'all, do y'all ever catch me saying that sometime? I'm about to end this live. Yeah. I'm about to go eat me some ice cream. Yeah. Everything be yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you all say I'm going to buy groceries. We don't say that here. That's too much. We break shit apart. We about to go make some groceries. I remember when we were in San Diego, people were saying, how are you going to make them? They're already, don't come around me with that corny ass shit. That's not a good joke. It's not. Kevin, I caught you. Mm -hmm. Henry Caldwell, you thought you were slick. I caught you too coming on in, dipping. I'm telling y'all, follow Trina. Y'all gonna be doing Sunday school. Where do you get a load of 504 Sunday school too? This the only Sunday school you can cuss at. Sure is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, yeah, I'm going to break this video down, but before we do that one, we're going to do another one. Mm -hmm. This one I found just uh, fucking around, yeah, I know? and it's an old school one. Um, I'm still going to do what I do. I am going to speed it up and put the music on. Now, this one is when it was a pepper and a salt. Or was it the salt with the pepper? I don't know. Oh. You know, you can find a lot of things on YouTube when you type it in the right way. You know, you, you, you get to see a lot of things, but these videos here are videos mm -hmm, at you. To skateboard his videos. Mm -hmm. You know, people think that they get rid of their things and they really don't. I mean, everybody has them. It's just going to the right motherfucker to get them. I got that. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm using that one because that's going to be like a little introduction. Mm hmm. Y'all sure do my ex from New Orleans. You used to say that, and she back out there with you now. Since we broke up, free me indeed. Oh, Lord, you sound like me, DJ Memphis. Well, free me. Are you getting? Nope. 
I was going to ask you, are you going to the party? Well, fuck, I thought you were about to ask me, am I getting married again? Nope. I don't. <laughs> I don't make me go to the altar with you. You're going to be embarrassed. I'm not going to sit there. I'm going to be the one at my own wedding talking about speak now or forever hold you. I'm done. I'm out. Fuck them, girl. Fuck them. Fuck them, girl. Fuck them. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm going to be. I promise you I am. I get paranoid when people ask me, are you going to... No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Mm -mm. She called me in a good drink. Have night. And got me down on it. Oh, but you know, you miss her. You can, you got the, uh, I'm so serious, 86K. I get paranoid when they say that shit. Are you going to, no. Do you have a, no. Do you want to, no. What about, a, hell no. <laughs> Because <laughs> that was going to be, do you want to, do you want to, no. What about, a, hell no, ain't no what about us. No, I was about to say, what about going uptown? My bad, my bad, I'm paranoid. <laughs> yeah, black girl, I, I'm paranoid, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. <laughs> By the way, we can end this conversation because I don't I'm not comfortable with this. I ain't comfortable with it. All right now. 86 K being naughty over here. He's being naughty. Nah, I don't miss. But I now you know you got the wine and dine him. Tell him, Wody. All right, y'all. So I don't know, but I saw something on the wall, and um, it kind of looked like something <clears throat> making a mockery out of a uh, what is that, Candyman over there? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know. It's, it's, it's boring. It, it's tired now. It really is. Because, you know, what you're doing is looking foolish. You know, I went back and watched a lot of videos that I didn't know existed, as far as you're concerned, um, Fat Max. I found a bunch of them mm -hmm. that I didn't even know were even out it's amazing what you can pull up if you hit the right keywords. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And I would say that 60 is a little too old to really be, you know, doing the dumb shit you're doing. A little too old. Maybe it was just long and overdue. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead on and get on into this video. Um, I'm going to post a link to who the video belongs to in the uh, this description. I was trying to make sure I say the word right. So I'm going to make sure I drop the links mm -hmm. in there to the person who had the videos. Okay. In the meantime, fair use disclaimer, this video is being used for entertainment and educational purposes under copyright section 107. It is not meant to bully, harass, de offend, or defame anyone. Anything that I speak on will be alleged. You too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn them ribs smelling good. Y'all like the way I did that, huh? Good. Mm, fuck it. Y'all ain't got no sense of humor. 
no sense of humor to your half. I'm about to poke my damn brains out with this damn lazy week. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Ooh. Y'all ain't got no type of sense of humor. I'm the only one having fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do that all the time, you know. My daughter be up there chilling, doing her thing. I be down here talking to myself. I talk to everybody. I might be talking to some of y'all people, too, that don't run to the other side. Huh? Ooh, Wardy? Oh, you related to Reed? Okay. All right. What you want me to tell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta make your mind up tonight. All right, let's get on with this shit. I'm cutting up only because I know I ain't got to worship out out here tonight. Now, the first one, I'm about to click on shit. No, I don't need to do that. We're going to go ahead and do this. I got to speed this one up. Let me get the music first. So that we can do everything right. Which one did I have it on last night, y'all? Uh, was it Feeding the Ducks? Night drive? No, I don't want night driving. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. What one is that? Okay. Oh. Into space is what this one is. Yeah, that's it right there. I like that. Into space. Don't let them fool you. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. So if I forget the song and things, just say we in, in space. I'm going to know. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Morty. <laughs> yeah. Me with you? All right, Black Gap. Yeah, better be. I'm going to need y'all. Mm -hmm. I hope that's not too loud for you all. All right. Let's get on this. Uh, Lannis, is that? Lannis? I, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you made 171? Is that it? Mm, okay. All right. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Get, let's get to the getting. Go to getting, get that. That shit too loud. My nerves get bad. Let me cut that down some. That's much better. All right. So what we're going to do here is listen to this video. Now, this one that I picked, I chose this one with, with the salt and pepper thing because you get to hear her speak on her, okay? She's speaking about her self, okay? So let's get to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So we're going to start off with that one. And that's only going to be for a little bit of while. Then I'm going to pop it on the main event for the night, which is the interview with uh, she and no uh, TJ uh, came to me. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take it from the top. I already, you know, I was a fan. Then I was, there was some disappointment when he was uh, kicked out. Oh, I already got out about the gun issue in the locker room. Every time, and that's why I try not to put my hopes in others. But he didn't understand what him being put out the NBA meant to black people. What it meant to me. Okay. Why? Can y'all hear it? This accomplishment. Let me know. And get put out the ring. Hit me with a hit me with a one if you can hear it with the music playing. Okay. I, 
Where is the damn uh one that I did? Is this it? I tested these folks by the spirit. Give me a menuet. Uh, 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 All right. Uh, uh, okay. So this is that one. This is the one here that we're gonna do. Where is it? Edit. All right, let's roll. Okay, so she's uh explaining. Let me explain to what this is. Okay, so she and uh Blister they're talking. Okay, this is when it was salt and pepper when they were together. Um, she wants Fatbacks to speak on her life, whatever. So she's talking about her son, the grandbaby, and the uh, grandbaby's mother. So just listen, and uh, I'll break it down as I'm going, like I do. Anyway, bro. <laughs> mentioning something about Marilyn and um, you said that it was the son, your son, but your son was a fugitive and he went to uh, to Georgia to go to a dance. 
the grandbaby's dance. I guess that's what she said. Which, um, but you were in Georgia and he was staying back and he was in, um, he was in Maryland. But you say he was with you in Georgia. But no, that's not true. He was in Maryland the whole time. So I was right. Which I already knew I was right. Because I knew that was your man. Not your son was your man. But you know what I'm talking about. Your man is your man. And uh, 34, 35, I'm not understanding that. Because you say he's 30 five now right so that means that back when i saw those two addresses when y'all were together he was 35 right 23 and you were like 46 44 46 and he was 22 23 but you know what you have been dealing with him before that though because you had been watching him yeah yeah, that's what it was. But that's what you prefer. Um, you left him in an apartment. Yes, because by the time she was three, and like I said, my own baby, my daughter, her father had died, and I was coming back to Georgia, and I was torn. Because I got this daughter, and I got this granddaughter. But my baby father had just died, and I knew I had to be with my daughter. So you got all these issues of life. And I'm torn, you know, like, damn. So I have to leave Maryland because I got to take care of my daughter. And so. You know, when you gotta leave one, you try to make everything right. You know, I got an apartment, I did this, I did that. And maybe six months later, my son had called me, Dad, I'm broke up. You know, now they ain't broke up without fixing my house. Dad, I'm broke up. And the mom was in a shelter. Now, this one had family in there. A mom, a auntie, and stuff. I said, a shelter six months. So, I'm telling you, when you're the glue of your family, Queen Regina, let me tell you something. The glue of the family. Okay, so the mom was in a shelter with the grandbaby and uh found out that the grandbaby was in a shelter so you got the grandbaby to go there but you know that's not the reason why you left no maryland you know that mm -mm. no that's not the reason you had done a lot of shit in maryland and um you have a lot of things there that you ran away from and that's the reason why you went over there to uh georgia because you see the thing is is that you state that you are a nurse but you still ain't work you ain't say nothing about work so the grandbaby come to stay with you but you can watch the grandbaby damn near all the time right so you can keep the baby girl safe so that's only natural. I mean, I would do the same damn thing. It would be grandbaby. But the nursing thing, it's like you just never nursed. And, and, and the thing is that you got one son, the girlfriend. But you see, you controlling. That's the thing with you. You very controlling and, and you're arrogant. And that is the reason why you're gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna catch on to this as the video goes. Okay. Because what you want to hear is how demanding, how controlling the shit ain't just stop when she got the Kwame, in other words. Okay. You gotta pay attention to the shit. Because then you're gonna start figuring out, oh, okay. All right. Okay. This is this this is why. Uh, this is when it happened or when she came along. <clears throat> you know why? You know I don't want to blame your baby, but how dare she? Especially when she got you there, you're like, I didn't even know nothing about it. I'm so upset, and I said, keep my granddaughter out of shit. Clean Regina, I know what you're saying, baby. I can relate to what you're saying, baby. Man, I cried, and I told my son to be each other not together. I said, I'm kidding, y'all. You know, it ain't got nothing to do with that granddaughter. I'm in shelter. Yes. And, uh, you know, two 60 year old women, two of them, at this point, right here, when it was salt and pepper, everybody was having issues with them because these two took over 
instantly. They became controlling instantly. Damn near right after they did the uh the the, the shoe drive. Immediately. They ain't waste no motherfucking time. Soon as they knew they was in there, they start telling Kwame what to do, start telling people where they can't be and where they can be and who can moderate and who couldn't moderate, who could be in and who couldn't be in. Mm -hmm. And it's, gentlemen, I heard what you said, but I'm going to tell you what I feel when we get to the, the next uh, video. your motherfucking child but the child is your grandbaby ain't that some shit hmm? you see because I don't want everybody to get to know the person the characteristics of the person on here this don't sound loving. This just sounds like everybody is a nuisance to you. No, that's okay. It's an emergency. It's fine. But like I said, you can't be in no goddamn emergency. And you don't know. You cannot train your fucking child. No, that's right. And that's and, and she saying, oh, your granddaughter's so good. She's so nice. Now, you. that's the grandbaby. Is it? That's because I'm grandma. I'm not okay. But this was an emergency situation. I'm not in my own home now. And then my grandbaby's in a shelter. But when she come under my roof, she doesn't understand that oldest oh, granddaughter was never a, a problem because I raised her the first three years. But Queen, they don't have a clue what they do to the children when they do this shit. Yeah, I don't know what they want to tell those kids are bad. Not only that, though, Queen, let me tell you something. Your granddaughter being in a shelter like that, that, let me tell you something, that will be embedded in the child's mind. But if those are memories, trust me, Queen, because they get used to being in a, in a stable home. And then all of a sudden, they take it out of there and put it into a strange situation. Do you think that's not going to be a traumatizing moment for that child? And doing this to get my son, get back at my son. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. They do this stuff to get back with the men. Women, we got to stop this for real. And when they do it to what we're talking about, the men, I mean, the women at this point, please. Who has a, a grandma, but she didn't have to go to a shelter. Queen Regina, say this. Okay, let me tell you something else. And I have a story. I can't put it out there because. Maybe she chose to go to the shelter <clears throat> because of how you are. Maybe she didn't feel comfortable going by you. Because look how you talking about it now. She probably said, you know, man, it's better for me to be with my baby in a shelter than to go stay with this lady. Because I'm pretty sure you drove and drove and drilled and drilled like you do. So this is for me, let me know and let me see, okay, so this is you. This ain't no act. 
This is the real you. So when you came to we the people, when you came to and dropped on the laps of Kwame, this was the real you. It wasn't that woman that we saw at the beginning videos that I showed you all. The little innocent one, you know, that was shy and talking and nice and caring and warm and comforting. That that was a, a, a that was bogus. This right here, this is the real her. I won't put it out there, but I can relate to what Queen Regina is saying in real life. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all need to stop just because y'all are upset with the men or the fathers or whatever. Or the other, I should say, other the mothers. Why? Because you're upset with the mothers and the fathers that you take out on the grandmothers. And the grand papas or the grandfathers. We are very important in these children's lives. Whether you like us or not, as grandparents, it's very important that we are in the grandchildren's lives. And, and, and you, Blister, you over there getting fucked up drinking all day you ain't changed for the better you over there doing worse all them thousands and twenty thousands and you up to five thousand you bought packets likes views subscriptions ain't no motherfucking way your numbers way the fuck up there like that. You talking about we grandparents, parents too. But at 60, you over there sitting with your legs wide the fuck open, taking your breasts, which you know you put some shit in there to make them, you know that ain't your taters, bitch. And then you hurry up and you look around to make sure ain't nobody looking while you in the green room with your legs wide open and taking your shirt and shaking them around. Telling people, suck on my ass. Eat out this. Here, that's what you do. Eat out this. That's what you're doing right now. Today. Today. In the fucking yard doing cartwheels. Bitch, you 60. You ain't learned yet. It's sad that both of you, 60-year-old women, are the ones on here causing the most fucking problems. And that one got a husband. We are their history. We're the reason why they are here. We're the reason why you are here. So when you take that away from a child, yes, yes, not only is the mother and the father is important to the child, so is the grandparent. And when you take that away from the child, trust me, even if they're not this age, at a younger age, they're going to remember what you did. They want to be with their grandmothers and their grandfathers. Those are uncherishable moments. How dare you try to take that away from a child? Coming from my clean house, clean bathroom. Yeah, you're going to take them out of all that to a damn shelter. I was so nervous, Sister G. I, I, no, I can relate to I can relate to what you're saying. And you know what I'm saying because you know my story. So you yes. know I can relate to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, they brought down to me. And her uh, granddad was, it, was before he died. My son's father was in Clayton County. And he was married. Uh, uh, you know, his stepmom kept raised my uh, son. So we had a uh, battle here in Georgia. But they had kept the shit a secret. Like, I was so upset. And I was crying. You know, my son, I said, bring it, you know, whatever y'all got to do, we got to get on the bus, whatever. I'm not this shit. I'm going to go apartment. I'm not doing that. But bring the grab it here. And then y'all work it out. You know, whatever y'all got to do. Uh, she had been living there. And he was kind of like doing Airbnb. I said, just take my granddaughter out of the midst. So take you all can find out what you all want to do going forward. And uh, my granddaughter, she came. And, you know, like I said, uh, without all that drama, like I said, when she came, she was staying up until 12 in the morning. I don't stay up in the middle of the evening. I don't sleep. <laughs> you know, so all this kind of retraining and um, my, my kids, just like my kids, I would have her three uh, right. hot meals. And then every day she was like, uh, she called me mama. Uh, she never called me grandma, my oldest one. And so she said, mama, I'm ready to eat. But, you know, I paid my cash for my breakfast was already done. Okay? And, um, you know, it gave them time to find themselves because y'all got young people. Need to find themselves. I didn't have that other than their fathers, uh, my kids' father, but I needed to find myself. Okay? Um, and if you have a safe home, it ain't got to be up the big house, but it's got to be a safe house. Sometimes these kids got to find themselves, uh, Sister T. Right, you got to me, especially if they got children. I ain't going to worry about you all too much, bro. But if my great daughters, I'm not going to go through uh, uh, no, no damn new boyfriends, uh, uh, new girlfriends. I don't know these people. And I don't want my children, my grandchildren traumatized. And you have got to keep the communication lines open with your grandchildren. Let them okay. know, I'm being honest, no matter what's going on between the parents, y'all. Make sure your grandchildren know that they can come to you for anything, about anything. Because see, when you do that, y'all, I don't care what's going on with the mother and the father, that child knows that they got their grandmother, and they know that they got that special love. And guess what? Believe it or not, they feel, y'all, it's like a relief. It's like a, it's like a pillow. Yeah, they got grandma, but they got papa. Regardless of what's going on between mom and dad. And 
And that's why you need that connection. No matter how much y'all may think you don't, you need that connection. The children need that connection. Especially when you have a son. Yes, sir. The mother is in control of that child. And so, regardless of, what, you tell them, regardless of what you may think, let me tell y'all something for real. When you have a son, that woman, that daughter isn't built. It's girl for you. I'm just going to say so. 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 When you do that, and that's what a lot of believe it or not, that's what a lot of grandparents go through. Just because there's an issue with the parents, yes, they won't say well, I should never put my son on child support. And uh, I know one time the aunt, uh, you know, there was a little domestic violence, and I said, Tell her, you gotta stop arguing with my son. You know, he's six, seven, you're five, what, four, nine. He's always gonna be the guilty party in these situations. You know, my son was saying, Oh, my, you should stop more. And I just said, You need to be escalated. And when she was under my roof, I, you know, I was teaching this girl how to stand down. You're a four, nine. And he's six, seven, you know, he's gonna get arrested. And you know, you're gonna be back a little bit funny. She was stating that she uh, uh, don't do all of that, that, you know, deal with all of that domestic uh, shit. But that's not the truth either because you got the simple battery charge. So, I mean, you know, unless she was beating the fuck out of a pillow, then they gave you a false charge. But you got the simple battery and your nigga, he got all kind of shit too. So y'all be fighting y'all motherfucking ass off. In fact, he has a domestic violence charge. Not your son. I'm talking about your man. Mm -hmm. He has the domestic violence charge. Now, this next video, I chose to do this video because this video with her speaking and TJ speaking, I want you to listen to the things that she said. All right. Now this is right about when TJ actually, I guess, came out and let all, let all of us know that you know, hey, everybody, I'm TJ, I'm Tommy's brother. For whatever reason, she wanted to interview with him and asked him, and of course, he said yes. Um, and uh, you had on the wall because you are evil that this interview that you and he did you state that and it's on your wall he didn't know that you played him you did the interview but you played him and he didn't know that he was played well the thing with that is is that you didn't play him at all because you are the one that got fired. He's still with his brother. So 
blood is going to be thicker than that water that you're trying to water well, the lawn with. He ain't, he ain't get played. You got played. He's still going to be that man's brother every day. So that's kind of crazy for you to even say that. It's like you just ain't got shit to do but to just sit home all day and fuck with that wall. Not knowing who got what videos. Where they circulate. Not knowing nothing. Sitting around. Drawing yourself in bikinis. And it ain't even you. I can't understand that for the life of me. You really into that shit. Like you really literally think that these avatars are you. Well, honey, if it works for you to lose some weight, thinking about it, keep on drawing. Keep it going. Now, this one already ready to roll. I already, you know, I was a fan. <laughs> there, was, there was a disappointment when he was uh, kicked out. Oh, how we got out about the gun issue? This video is her and TJ. For many that might not know, but y'all should know, TJ, of course, is Kwame Brown's brother, the Brown Boys. He was kind enough to go ahead and hear what the fuck she had to say. But now she wants to make a mockery out of it, stating that TJ didn't know that she played him. Let me see if I can help break all of this down and see who at the end really gets played. Every time, and that's why I try not to put my hopes in others, but he didn't understand what him being put out the NBA meant to black people. <clears throat> what it meant to me. Why would you make this accomplishment and get put out the way you did? Why? 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 I mean, you could be a smart, dumb fool and, and, and do the things that he did, or you could be a humble guy and take care of your family like Kwame did. Mm -hmm. like, every, that would have been a big... Uh, I believe they're talking story. about Gil uh, right after they, now. After they told him, before <laughs> he told him, told Kwame, you can't go do the movie, I'm like, and then you turn around after they told you that and let somebody like uh, Gary Stackhouse, how they see it, jump in, which that never happened. And he go chain off of Stackhouse ass. Now you kicked out, now you kicked out of the lead early. So that, that would have been very stupid on his part, but that did not happen. He had a successful life in off in the other NBA. I don't give a damn what people say out there. I, I know my brother. I know how he worked so damn hard to get where he needed to be. So, and that was that. Like I, like I told him uh, on his channel, and I'm telling him on his channel, like I saluted him for doing the things that he did. She did. My, my, even, uh, even, you know what I'm saying, gave me encouraged, encouraged me to do, to do right and to want to, you know what I'm saying, live the right way. So, I mean, fuck what these niggas talking about. I mean, like he changed, he changed the narrative in the family's life of, 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 of you know, just running the streets. And only, only a few of us, you know. Yes. But he, he changed that. And that's what I love about him, and I salute him. He's always going to be my goddamn brother, regardless of anything. Family first. Mm -hmm. Any mother with sons like all of you all. But Kwame, being the age he was, making the decisions he did, and surviving, quietly surviving. In the history books, he knew the importance of his historical position. Even under pressure, he understood it. Thanks. And he didn't let anybody trick him out of the historical books. We don't care what no sports analysts say. He was the first to teach high school to be the number one draft pick and to play 13 years to play with Michael Jordan, who should not have come out of retirement playing with Kwame. You don't do that. It was Kwame's moment. Thanks. It was Kwame's moment. Anybody in Kwame's position up against a tiny See, that's how you write the story. That's how you write the story. Thanks. How about Jordan? Anybody to play with a Titan and they number one draft pick and survive. He's a hero. He's a hero. In the black community. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Black community. You all need to stop this mess. And get on your microphones. And that's what him coming to YouTube was about. All the Y'all need to stop this mess. You need to stop this mess. Y'all going on with their lives. Y'all doing other shit that's going to 
help them be great, hopefully. Y'all ain't on here threatening court decisions and everything on these people that ain't fucking with you. Y'all ain't the ones feeling played. You are. So y'all would mean you need to stop this shit. That's what that would mean. Mm -hmm. That's what. You was supposed to get on your trumpets and write the story correctly. Write the story correctly. Ready to throw it on everybody but ourselves. You failed your mission. Be greedy. Be greedy. And right now, YouTubers are now in control of the media. But black YouTubers. No, 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 no. See, yeah, you, you're right. You, TJ say it and fucking ignorant. But you can't sit here and say that we are too motherfucking ghetto. You the one started all this shit. You the one blocked motherfuckers from making their money. You the one came on here flagging a nigga so you could get paid off of taking the same fucking flag off the motherfucker. You the one sitting on this bitch every day still typing paragraphs and book novels on a wall. A wall of shame. Y'all ain't the motherfuckers that's ghetto on here. People do what they do. People are who they are. You the one on here bougie for nothing. Bad for nothing. Ratchet for nothing. Anybody who can make ratchet and bougie all go together to make it look good, that's not even what you are, though. You're not bougie. You're not. You're not bougie. Ratchet is a motherfucker, but you, you're not bougie. Mm-mm. educational because I didn't know that he, TJ knew it all. He knew from the shoe drive to before the shoe drive, who went to the shoe drive, who went everywhere. He had been in the bushes watching the whole time. The whole time. Until he said, fuck this. This is enough. I'm sick of this shit. And you know what? He took his little time to give you your little voice and what you do, spit in his face. We ain't the ones to say, you know, well, this is protecting them. This is about right. This is about right and wrong. And this shit been wrong for a long motherfucking time. And it's wrong because nobody, nobody want to call your ass out. And tell you that the shit you've been doing up until you still doing is fucked up. It's wrong. How could one person be so fucking evil 
and call this much cause this much chaos and be happy about it. You ain't really happy. No, no, my nigga. You like to say that, my nigga, don't you? You ain't happy. Mm -mm. No, you ain't happy, baby. Because happiness don't do this. Happiness don't sit on here all day, not having a life, watching millions of people picking and weeding out through the wild weeds who is the most vulnerable, who is the most weak, who is the biggest fool that you could snatch in and get them to Simon Says and they do what Simon Says. That's what you do. That ain't happiness. Ain't no happiness gonna come on here and talk sexual the way you do at your age. Ain't no happiness gonna come on here and allow millions of people to hear you slurping down a dick. Huh? That ain't happiness. Mm -mm. You going through a lot, lady, a lot. But you taking it out on the wrong fucking people. And I'm gonna tell you now, this ain't about to make you gain. You think you about to win. You think you gaining. You think you you are sabotaging your own shit. You taking people to the EOC, to the courts, everywhere. You you fucking up your own case and you don't even see it. But you're a criminal justice major. You're you're a justice major. the thing there sweetie ain't nobody building channels off of you ain't nobody building channels off of you who building off of you ain't nobody really doing nothing but 504 504 ain't building nothing off of you your name ain't no way in here at all content is content content will be used you act like you this big old money grab around this bitch no, you're not. You're not even pulling in the money. Your own damn self. So you just like Blister. That bitch thinking everybody making money off of her. Who the fuck knows a Blister? That ain't in nobody's uh, titles that's going to get no money. People that don't know, don't know. Y'all came here and ain't no shit. Did nobody know you? Nobody. So you are able to have a voice right here because of what? Because you kissed ass to get the position that you got. And you fucked it up for yourself. Didn't nobody fuck that up. You did. And the sad part is a lot of the shit you've done, you don't even want to hold yourself accountable for. And when that happens, there is no sorry. There's no apologetically, apologetically wrong. None of that. None of that. It ain't no, it really ain't nothing to this, man. Look at these people as, I mean, I mean, uh, even, even though they doing all that unnecessary bullness, I mean, there's still content. But like you said, you can cheat their ass away. Get their ass up there, they cuss their ass out of the, you know, and go by their way. But it's just, it's just the point, the fact of the matter that, you know, they don't, they don't know how to link up. They don't know how to network. If they knew how to network around YouTube, I think they'd be gone. I think the channels would grow. Um, and that way everybody can eat. I mean, this is like a, a, a test to me. Like, you can look at different sections of YouTube and you can see who is doing X, Y, and Z. Right. You can actually see this. Yes. Right. And, and, and for them not to, you know, just sit back and just watch what's going on, oh, uh, it's crazy to me. If I can do it, I know they can damn do it. <laughs> like, it ain't that hard. But, you know, you got sick ass individuals that want to do it their way. They're stuck in their ways. Right. So, you know, you YouTube, that's you get kicked off of YouTube. Right. <laughs> And I do want to dispel, it's not a whole lot of them, Miss Thor, they're just louder than people like me and others, because I am not confrontational. That's not my nature. Huh? Um, um, I, I don't like to fight. I didn't even like to fight, you know, when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. so I do know how to fight. Yeah, you know how to fight because you got a fucking battery charge. So you do know how to fight. Come, I don't like to fight. Well, bitch, how you get the charge? 
Then your nigga got peace orders, TPOs. You familiar like a motherfucker with TPOs? And you telling me, girl, you know, it's hard to get a TPO. It, 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 they just don't give no TPOs like that. So then that means you was a bad motherfucker. If they keep giving them to you or the other bitch, you, your nigga. So TPOs is your history. This is what you do. This is what you do. And no one, let me say this. I want to make this clear. No one will use 504. Ain't nobody using 504. I do what the fuck I do, and I do it well. Ain't nobody paying me. Ain't nobody telling me to do this and go. Bitch, I'm tired of you. All the shit that you did. All the lies that you told and the shit you still, you think that I don't never get it back. Your switcheroo came with me because I ain't standing next to you in your fight with him. Ain't nobody using me. I'm just going to tell you like the fuck I said to him. This ain't my motherfucking fight. What I look like fighting for you. I gave you one itty itty bitty thing and I didn't I wasn't needed that was one time that was one time you need other motherfuckers then you go to them other motherfuckers who you worship you go to them hoes and get them to do everything with you I ain't doing fuck for you for him for the next nigga or the next bitch I do what I do that's why y'all got shit fucked up I don't rap with no bunch of people. I don't do that out here in the streets. It's just me. Me. I protect me. I protect my daughter. I protect my grandbaby. I protect my mama. I protect us all. And I don't need no motherfucking group to do it. You do. I don't like to get to that place because I kill, sure, I'll kill you with my bad hands. Mm -hmm. So I don't like that emotion. That emotion should be for a real threat, the fight or flight, not for words. Mm -hmm. But when it's kicked up, my body has to absorb that energy. And it's on your body. That's why we. Well, your body gonna be overworked, bitch, because that's a lot to be absorbing. Heart attack, strokes, blood pressure, diabetes, mm -hmm. along with everything we already going with you know, in life. Mm -hmm. That's why I basically stay away from it because it's not good for our spirits and bodies. Mm -hmm. That type of coming to um, a fight and flight. You know, position in your energy, and there's not an animal or beast in front of you. This is right. your emotions. And I don't, like I said, I'm from a different generation. I understand that. But mothers, fathers, children, in everyday beef, roasting, or even an argument offline was always off limits. Black people know this. Black people know this. What we are doing today, and I'm talking about, I'm like you, the 35s and up to something. Uh, we're lost. We're lost. And there's only some of us, and I've separated myself from the lost. And you're not gonna put me back down, right? But, but. No, you lost. You lost on your own. Without a road map, without navigation, GPS is gone. I don't, it ain't even fucking with you. You lost on your own. Everything. Everything you have done, you lost. And that's that loss. But ain't nobody losing on here but you. You losing. I don't know about them, but I know I'm not lost. I know where I'm headed. I know where I'm at. I know where I've been. And I know I ain't going back. I know I'm going to keep going and doing what the fuck I do every day. And that's being with me doing what the fuck I need to do to survive. Without tearing down other people that ain't did me nothing. That's the difference. You get excited to fuck people over. You get this sudden burst. Don't you like the bust? Mm -hmm. That's what you do. When you got your grippers 
on somebody's nutsack and you squeeze hmm, and you keep squeezing until they burst. But everything you're doing done hit you and kicked you in your ass. Mm -hmm. Kicked you in your ass. And now, because you were shamed and got fired on vacation, you mad with everybody. Well, we ain't do you nothing to get you fired. You got fired. You fucked up. You cussed them out. You, But you know what? <clears throat> Fuck that. Just like any other job, they give you warnings, okay? You've been fucking up. Been. And you know it. You overdid yourself. You got cocky. Just like a motherfucker that do some other shit. They keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it till one day they get fucking caught. Because you can't keep doing wrong without it ending. And your shit ended. How many times you got that comfortable so where you thought you could tell the nigga you want to see him put on some fucking sweatpants? Huh? That's one that you can't do on no job out here in the streets. Not out here. You think if you was a secretary or a paralegal some fucking where, you could go walk in the office and tell your boss, huh? The one that cuts your checks? You think you can go in there and tell him, kiss my ass? Well, if you do, then you get what you got. And that's fired. Boop. Right up your ass. Mm -hmm. Like a hemorrhoid. Right up your ass. Planet got comfortable. The foot marinated. And now you're mad. Because it happened, you say in public. But you act the ass in public. So how you live is how the fuck you get it. You act the fool in public, then bitch, you got fired in public. What you expect? And then you don't even make a motherfucker wish they still could have kept you. Like, you know what? The nigga done fired you a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Don't you remember that? He fired you. Y'all went back and forth. You got rehired. You fucked up again. You got rehired. That's two. I don't know what way you cussed his ass out when you was out there on vacationings. He told you to stay out the comment sections so it won't be no beat going back and forth. But you couldn't do that. You the main one in everybody's shit. 84 trolls you are. Different fucking names you are in everybody's shit, having a ball, laughing with yourself because of how you fucking over everybody and then still sit in their face because they don't know it's you that's trolling them. Ain't that something? Huh, bitch? Meaning like right now, you could sit here and be Connie. Not you, Miss Connie. I just thought of that. You could be Connie. Right? Right now. I'm going at your ass. And guess what? You in here having a ball. Just typing away. Having fun. See, that's the type of shit you do. And people that don't know you won't know you. Won't know you. And won't know it's you. And sometimes the beat, the beat. So it's not that many of the haters, they're just louder. And if you put your foot down, you'll get rid of them in that bus somewhere else and shit somewhere else. And if people entertain those shitters, they're going to give you to bring your channel down. That's all they do. These are channel killers on YouTube. There you go. Yeah, they thought it was going to bring down us, like a real big, big uh, channel. And they thought it was going to get and split those subscribers up. They, and they've been on here for almost 10 plus years. And Listen to this shit. Now, Listen to this. So you know what? That's where some of that. That's where some of that hate. Uh, that's where some of that hate come from. The ones that been on here for a long period of time, but they don't give. Uh, they shouldn't give them the, the right to do that because they won't change their patterns and blueprints. Uh, they don't understand the pandemic and uh, the people who came during the pandemic. They are, they are different people. 
different levels of people, classes of people, but it came in large numbers. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Some, some people, queen, but some people won't never learn how to level up. No. Because their tactics are different from others. Like they're not genuine. They're not great makers. So with that being said, you, you, they won't find themselves uh, going no higher than what they is now. And they wonder why the damn channel came from. Hmm. Mm. Right. We came in large numbers and we came to sell our brands or whatever we were selling our business. And yes, we reported to YouTube. I find this also very troubling behavior. I know I did. And it should be reported. And YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of them. Putting new rules, new guidelines. That's why they turned on some people. I don't give a damn all you want. But the thing is, is that you the only motherfucker fucking over everybody. It's you. You sitting here talking about, I got to go and tell and go around. That's what you do. You fuck with somebody. They tell your ass something back and you off running. YouTube, YouTube, they bullying me. You are the biggest bully on this bitch. The biggest one. Don't give a fuck. Don't care. Don't have no type of get up and go about yourself. Home every day, all day, fucking over everybody. And then when they come back at your ass, you won't go run to the uh, uh, Mr. YouTube and tell them they bullying me. But you ain't telling them what the fuck you did to get that get back, did you? Did you tell them about the get back? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You throw your stones and you hide. And that is not the characteristics of a motherfucker that's in the military. They don't do that. Soldiers hold themselves accountable. They're trained to do that. They hold their hands up high. And they walk with a certain walk that you know, even if they're not in uniform, you can tell they belong somewhere. Either the military or the fucking police force. Mm -hmm. There's something about a man in the military. And also, you can tell. You, little fat back, you ain't got a motherfucking sign nowhere that's telling me military on your ass. But you are giving me all the signs of a motherfucker that need to be locked up in Jackson some fucking way. Mm -hmm. Now that's what you're giving. Them type of vibes. But military? No, 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 no. no. You have not ever showed not one thing. You so proud to be a veteran. You so proud to say you a military person who I was in the army. You fought for the country. You fought for the people. And now, this is what military do. They fight. They jeopardize their lives to fight for a country of people you don't even know. But the people that you do know, you tearing them down. That ain't the military, baby. You ain't got nothing on you that's telling me a soldier. Period. My brother can walk in this bitch right now. And he is a cop. But you all know if that if he come in this bitch regularly dressed, ooh, you gonna know, you gonna know he either that or you gonna know he was in that Marine Corps, which is where he was. Nah, that's a soldier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you ain't no soldier, my nigga. You just a little lost woman that's got so much going on in her life. And she's got so much pain that she takes it out on everybody else. You have lived your life lying about who you are for so long that you believe it. But a person like me sees straight through all that chatter that you got going on. If it's appropriate and you're not following YouTube community guidelines and terms of service, we're going to get you out here. We're going to get you out here. Right. And that's how I feel. If they're going that low and they're doing all this, if they're going that low on deceased people, yeah, they're going to be getting their ass out of here. Thank that's you, boy. Grown, grown man, grown woman. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and I yeah, don't know if they're going to be like that queen from day one. They can get married. Yeah, and I don't know what you're going to do. Because I know how to read the guidelines. You see, just what? Just what? There's millions of me that came to YouTube during the pandemic. Exactly.
Exactly. Every time I watch a TV channel, uh, 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 I'm watching something on, uh, you know, on social media. I, I'm participating in a group. There are group rules on social media. And there are group rules and rules on YouTube. They just hadn't been followed for during the caveman years. Well, we're in the Matrix, baby. And it's all about the competition and it's all about the vengeance. I'm going to get your ass out of here. That's what we're right. doing. Right. Look, it should, it should apply on these YouTube streets as well. Yeah. So we, can it, we can take it back in the days in the 90s when, when we had real goddamn elders. Real elders, uh, the females and the goddamn women males. If they see something that ain't right, and then, you know, they know your people. Oh, yeah, they're going to correct you. You know what? We're going to correct you. Don't make me call your people. And I say that to say this. That's just like on the YouTube streets. You over there talking all down on, on, on the deceased families. Oh, yeah, you got to get your ass up out of here. Bye. We're not going to do this. We ain't going to stand for it. And, 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 no, we grew up in Georgia, and we got three whoopings on the way home. And one of our, our, our neighbors saw us do something. Right. We told our mom. We they was allowed to check us. Yes. They'll tell you ass, they'll like getting ready to go out, they'll tell you better be home for them, like you got them go out, you better get your ass home. Go out. I don't give a damn, yeah, I don't give a damn, we got a spike there, you better get your ass out. <laughs> you better be on that motherfucking street. Man, that's what we do. Hey, I saw Regina behind the house, uh, kissing a boy. Man, I got whooped. What? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't, uh, be mad at that neighbor, that's the wrong woman. I had to go babysit that neighbor. Uh, kids will do something in that neighbor's house the next day. Right, <laughs> right. Shit. I know, yeah, we did, my mom was on my ass, I'm talking about all of us, like, she, like, she, I was, like, she was goddamn teleported. She was, <laughs> she, she was teleported to the regulation goddamn building, like, you better get your ass home. And, 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 and it was always, she, she had that number, and, uh, my, my, my kids up in there playing ball, oh, okay. And, and, and I'm talking about, make sure that front office told her when we came out that damn building, and she, your mama said, y'all better go straight home. I said, oh, shit. And you know, like I said about your nursing thing, your nursing license, you quick to want to show that. You Not that, you show with no problem. That was easily confirmed. You know, I hadn't seen that before. I even saw what you had. Early on. Early on. You see, and, and a person like you, you got a lot dealing with the financial area of your life. A lot dealing with that. Mm -hmm. But you have been conning and doing the things that you've been doing allegedly. But I have it all. So you have been doing these things for a while. That's why you and that pepper of the salt, bitch. That's why y'all two got along. Mm -hmm. But both of you all couldn't fuck with each other much longer because y'all were already in competition from day one over Kwame. So both of you all, you can't beat them. You join them. You join that hoe and that bitch joins you. You heard me? And that's exactly how that went. Y'all, the two most evil black women on the YouTube scenes right now. And they got a lot of other ones. But for you, you gonna get that trophy. You get that award. The award of Lucifer. The award of a lost soul that's out here just gallivanting the earth, nowhere to go, nowhere to talk to, no nobody to talk to, because your nigga ain't there all the time. You already said that you and that 35-year-old man, and you going on 60, you stated to the world that that's only about sex. You heard me? Sex. Is that some good shit for a 60-year-old black woman to come on here talking about that's been in the fucking military? Hmm? What, you fought in the war that's got your cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Because you see, the thing here is that you have a degree for it all. The nurses, the criminal justice, you did more shit at a community college than at a real one. And you still ain't got shit to show for a motherfucking thing that spews out of your mouth. Only for the nursing. And I'm pretty sure with your, ain't no way you supposed to be in no hospital or no, no house doing private sitting if that's what you do. But it's the reason you're holding on to renewing that license the way you're doing. Because you show when the fuck ain't working in the field. So that would only let me further know that you're doing something allegedly that you ain't got no motherfucking business doing. Because you know whatever extra income that you make with that disability that you get. 
that will shut you down. And you already in a hole. Them motherfuckers want your house. They want your house. Allegedly. I want to make sure I say that. Mm-hmm. We're going straight home. I ain't even going to go home. That's what I'm going to get. Can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> see, that's a, that's a queen, we don't even have uh, that system set up around in uh, Brunswick no, uh, anymore because uh, things change around here. These younger, these younger kids, uh, they... You a fake ass broad. Fake as fuck. I don't know what you thought you was going to get out of this interview with TJ. I don't know what you really thought you were doing because it wasn't going to win you no brownie points. I'm pretty sure you might have thought he may have gone back over that requirement. You know what? Give her another chance. She seems like an okay lady. Mm -hmm. No, you got played. You didn't play him. And that's what you got up on your wall. You sitting right here laughing with this man, enjoying the day, happy to talk to him, but then you go and post on the wall. Let me see here. This is a year ago. Gigi, a year ago. Mm -hmm. Less than that. Eight months ago. Around there. Somewhere around there. Whenever the fuck it was, it don't matter. What matters is that you sitting on your wall right now making a mockery out of this interview. Telling people that he got played by you. You played him. You used him. And he didn't know it. That's what you said. It's on your wall. Ain't that something? And that's crazy because I had already picked to do this. I didn't even know about that till I got off and somebody told me about it. Because you type too fucking much. I ain't got that kind of time, bitch. I do something throughout the day called work. Something you don't do. Something you lay. You, you see, some of you all, and I'm not going to say all, but a lot of people, you know, they get on that disability and become disabled. But you ain't disabled. You local as a pecan, pecan, but outside of that, you supposed to be able to work, right? You a nurse. You a nurse. Was you a nurse in the military? I mean, what part did you do there in the army? Other than go up under the desk that you say people did to you. But if they did do that to you, then why is it that you talk about sex all the time? disrespecting yourself ain't nobody laughing with you ain't nobody getting no thrill out of what the fuck you doing what you think you typing all that shit and you think Kwame getting turned on by it that's what y'all hoping she over there popping her pussy and you over here typing about sexual busting and nothing and gulping and choking and all kind of throat going on two 60 year old women Two of y'all. No, bitch. Ain't nobody using 504. This is what I do. This is what I do. I did it with her son. I did it with that other nigga. And another nigga. And that bitch over there blister. It is what it is. Ain't nobody use me on them motherfuckers, bitch. It's when I get ready to start talking. Me. That's who. Ain't no use in here. I let people see the real for what the fuck it really is hitting for. This ain't no side. I ain't in no corner. And I'm not going back and fuck with a bitch that don't want to fuck with me. If you used me before, if you fucked me over before, what the fuck do I look like hanging out with you all over again? That's what you do. You go crawling back desperate. Desperate. Because you ain't got nobody. Nobody like you had before, huh? You had Kwame. You had probably Gil at that time. You had all the other nigga over there. You had all these people. And now you got to go crawling back on your hands and your motherfucking knees to people that you fucked over. 
Ain't nobody getting played, boo. But you. Ain't nobody crawling back to their enemies, baby. You the one doing that. Hmm? Even old Blist over there. Tearing shit up. Bucking up everybody else's house. But she ain't on her hands and knees. Going back with the enemy. She doing her thing. Whatever that is. But you. No, you still plotting. You still trying to make an army. You still trying to think you in the military. Your soldier days is done. Your soldier days are done. But you know what? They've been done. Because your motherfucking ass wasn't in no army. Ain't nothing on you, military bitch. I done sat here and watched and dug and looked. And ain't nothing out there for you, sweetie. Nothing. Nothing but a fantasy fucking life and a fantasy fucking mind. That's it. That's it. You so eager to get all your ducks in a row. But they ain't quacking no more. Your ducks stopped quacking a long time ago. Guns and shit, but it's still no clip. That's all they know. Uh, so it's, it, is, it is pretty much uh, what you were saying. That's Thank why you were telling these folks cold and drinking. Because if you're coming from a little small city like this, and it's, it, it grew, it, it's growing fast now. At a fast pace. It, it's becoming like a baby Savannah, Georgia. Like these guys don't have, these kids don't have no other way to turn. It's either you want to play sports or either you want to be in the streets selling something. And see, that's the sad part about it. No, TJ. Say it again. Can I meet you at the shoe drive? No, I, uh, it's rude with them. I came up, I came up, yeah, I came up a little late because they were bouncing around, bouncing around, but I, uh, yeah, I came up at this, uh, I think it was the elementary school. Okay, okay. Yeah, I pulled up there. So I, I did meet a few, as a matter of fact, the recreation department. So I did meet a few people that was there. That's where he had, uh, the, 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 uh, the haircuts and all that. Okay, I was already gone, yeah, because I yeah. was at the school and, uh, and feel where they play kickball. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, so I was around. I was, I was around, and uh, yeah, it was people, it was people that had that came way from damn New York. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 it was a lot of genuine, genuine people like yourself that came and supported. Uh, and I hear that part too. And he said that line and said he, what he didn't give out, and, and, and he kept acting like he was just one damn. And he's still sitting there giving your ass respect, still respecting the bitch that sat on here and fucked over his brother. Ain't that some shit? You see, this is the thing. We all only know what we see. We don't know what went on behind the scenes. We don't know what the cause mm -hmm. were or what the fuck you was doing with whatever or what he was saying to you. Nobody knows that. So we just see what we see. That's all. And I speak on what I see, not what I hear. I sit back and I watch. And you did a lot of snake shit. And you the first motherfucker to say, I don't deal with no snakes. No, 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 no. I don't deal with no snakes. You are the queen of snakes. You are the serpent. You ain't got no love nowhere in all that you wait. At all. Nothing. No love, no care. No hope, no nothing. Ain't nothing in you for food. That's it. That's it. Ain't nothing in your ass but that. This man sitting there right now enjoying conversation, and you got up on your motherfucking wall that you played him, that you used him. Ain't that some shit? Huh? Ain't that some shit? This is what you do. You don't understand. You the one getting played. You the one got used. You. And then when you finally fucked up, boop, to the curb, you went. Just like Blister. But KB better than me. You understand? They better than me. Because I'm not going to deal with it long. Once I start feeling a certain fucking way, pew, I'm gone. And I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I fear only one, one, 
one being, one, one spirit. And that's God. Anything human, you bleed like the fuck I do. Like everybody else do. Bullying days has been over, baby. This is real life, though. Real life, though. You sitting on here plotting to do wrong, and that's why I ain't fuck working out in your favor. Because you plotting every day to do evil. Bitch, you blocking your own blessings because you had it good. All you had to do was just sit back and take some fucking flags off and get paid. Got known. So get paid. Every day the niggas start getting flagged. Every day. Boom, flag, boom, flag. Call me up thinking I flagged him. I ain't flagged him. I don't really flag motherfuckers. I don't run a YouTube unless it's detrimental. I don't need them to fight my fucking battles. I'm going at you. The fuck I need you to for? They ain't in this. You do it your way like you told me. Tab, I don't fight the way you fight. I can't. I fight in the pockets. I go for the money. That's how you fight. And you ain't want a motherfucking thing yet. Look like you need to find another fucking career. Another field of line of work or something. Because Lord, if that's how you make money, bitch, you ain't gonna never get paid. You threw all your money away. All of it. Tricking it all. So niggas on here. Niggas on here that really ain't even like you at all. They tolerated you because you were fucking with the person that they thought was a fucking person that they wanted to fuck with, which was KB. So you were the orchestrator. You were the one calling all the plays, the playbook. You wrote it all. You did it all. Publisher, director, producer. You did it all. Narrator. That's you. You did it all. Everybody thought the doulo to the doulo to the big. You were that. There ain't no doulo. You was the quadruple twist. Yeah. It was all you. Everything was all you. Mm -hmm. You know, I was able to go all the way back today. I learned a little something on here called when you click on videos and you click on oldest videos, guess who pops up? Voila. You. Mm -hmm. But you can't get rid of them because they other people fucking content. So don't even think you're about to go do that shit, okay? And if the fuck you did, I already downloaded them all. And honey, you was a hot mess. Just a year ago. One year. You went from faking it to not making it. And you ain't gonna make it. Mm-mm. Blessings don't come to people like you, baby. You ain't going to reap that. You're going to reap what the fuck you sow, though. And that's what you're doing now. And you embarrassed about it. You upset. You feel like you've been made a fool of. Well, you know what? You did. You made a fool of yourself. Ain't nobody make a fool out of you. You did it all to yourself and to whoever, whatever motherfucker, that says that again that he is using he ain't doing a motherfucking thing I'm the one doing it all I'm the one going back I'm the one talking about it ain't nobody else standing up to you I don't know why they're afraid what the fuck is they afraid of I don't know I could give a fuck less all I give a fuck about is doing what I think is good. Doing what I think works. Doing what I love to do. 
And people love it too. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? The one everybody counted out. The one everybody talked about. The one everybody slammed. Huh? Keep coming back in y'all face. The face of her enemies. Of her enemies. And y'all all all fucked up in the head right now, huh? Like, why this bitch keep on getting... Instead of worrying about why y'all won't say what I say, huh? Say my words, phrases, y'all won't do all that? Then do like I'm doing and keep it real. And you could go far too. Mm -hmm. If anything came back on 504, I sure enough fuck did. Or I sure enough fuck didn't. I ain't got no problem talking about me. Not even when you degenerates sit on here and make jokes out of a person's pain. Out of the past of what they came out of. So even with that, y'all still look like the fucking fools. Huh? Everybody on this bitch sniffling. Sniffling y'all ass off. Because you can't cope at all. You drinking your ass off. I ain't got to see it to know it. That's when you come on this bitch and put people down when them gummies get in your ass. You big bad bow around this bitch. Well. They were celebrities. She ain't want y'all there. She told me. She, she, she especially you and uh and, and Mister uh, the cousin. She ain't want y'all there. Nah, baby. Five oh four doing what five oh four do. This is what I do. I'm not sitting on here trying to. If I can make it, then I'ma make it. Every little bit helps any little extra that you get that you can feed your family with long as you getting it the right way get it i'm not about to sit and rock with motherfuckers that ain't got no get up and go i'm not about to rock with no fucking body that's gonna hold me down because they down I'm not about to do none of that. So at the end of the day, I'm on here doing what I do for my daughter and for my grandbaby. That's who I care about. That's who I'm providing for. I ain't got time to sit around and not make nothing because I'm worried about what a motherfucker think or worry about me. Fuck y'all. I don't give a fuck. And if y'all were smart, you would feel the same fucking way. Y'all family should come first. 
not being with people that y'all know don't mean you no fucking good. You ain't gonna get nowhere that way. Period. So ain't no crosses about to be thrown with 504. None. I will watch and let y'all talk y'all ass off and still continue my motherfucking day. Ain't no back and forth. Nobody wanted to go back and forth with me before. So now, everybody looking for a little backy back, huh? Ain't going to happen, baby. That's when somebody uses you. Ain't nobody going to use me. Period. Put the hands on work. They was talking. Um, Skinny was promoting his channel. Uh, you know, and I saw all of this. I watched all of this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I did some background. Yeah, I know. And um, later on that night, like I said, because I met a young lady named Claudia, and she died three months later. I shared an Airbnb with her, and she came to the house. Stay at my house. Uh, she went out. I didn't go out. I'm tired. I worked. I'm tired. Fresh made all these goodies and so much more. You're getting a lot coming soon. They got all this energy to go party, and such a big steam popped off that night. We tried to set Kwame up with a woman, and she come back with all her private yeah. stories. Oh yeah, I remember her too. Yeah. Talk, kind of, talk kind of weird and slow. And, yeah. yeah, I remember what she, she, I remember what she tried to do. She not only tried to give him some, she tried to give everybody else around him some. Yeah. yeah that, that was real. She, I forgot where she came from. I know what she tried to do. So, I'm like I'm so overprotective for no reason because I hate young people, pretty people. No, I know what women will do. Right. Yeah, she, nah. was, she was like, she was, yeah, she was like, and, and you can tell mm -hmm. that Gordon didn't even want to discuss her, uh, discuss her situation. Nah. Yeah, like, no. Right, that was nasty. Like, she, how she came up on him, like, she was damn near broken, and she was giving him a damn hug. <laughs> in the picture, I'm like, damn, man. And then these people, because uh, I didn't witness none of this, I'm asleep, give me my fucking rest. These people started emailing me, trying to tell me, oh, uh, I heard you was, uh, you know, veteran and, you know, have PTSD from MST, and MST is military sexual trauma. And uh, what this got to do with what? Well, this what happened to me when you was actually, I don't give a damn, I didn't witness shit, I don't know shit. And I'm not, no. So, so this is what the, the editors and the sister cheese, they receive this type of communication through Instagram, emails, and texts. Don't, don't text me a motherfucking thing. Don't Instagram me a motherfucking thing. Don't email me a motherfucking thing. I don't fuck with strange folks. Well, what you doing out here? You are the strange one. You are. You don't fuck with strange folks. Everybody don't know each other. Even when they get to know each other. We all strange. I'm strange to people that don't know me. Huh? And I'm strange. I'm strange. Thank you. Thank you, Kev. Thank you, baby, for becoming a member. Thank you. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you. And thanks also for the uh, cash apps, I mean, the super chats earlier. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even put the, um, the thing up there. I'm sorry. Um... So, yeah, you know, that's the whole thing in a nutshell. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. Strange. We are all strange to each other. Strange, strangers, however you want to call it. That's what we are. You cannot come on here and just all the people around. You said you were so many things, but you see what made me start looking at you was a lot of your aliases. Mm -hmm. A lot of that. Yeah. And the people you associate with got some hella fucking charges on their backgrounds. Mm -hmm. But when a woman calls themselves a man, name reginald that's like something wrong i'm not about to put no nigga name down on my paperwork when i'm a woman so that means that if something that is being done that ain't right allegedly that will make a person have so many different fucking aliases that don't even match that don't even match I'm dead. Tell me down. Y'all was plotting y'all ass off, huh? Plotting. 
you, Ballista, you, you, them niggas, you, every common denominator is you. You the link to everything. Everything. The flags, the channels coming down. You do it. You the main motherfucker that do it too. You the only one that do it. Well, the only one that really smiles in people's face and do it. Hmm? When a person come to me and point fingers instantly, I look at that person. That person was you. For you. You don't know how to be a friend. You don't know how to be with people and just enjoy the presence of a person unless they are doing the wrong that you do. And if they're not marching on that yellow brick road with your ass, you don't give a fuck about them. You want people to make a sector. Now you have gone from a leader to a follower. Now you are speaking like blister over there. You ain't never said no sector before. Ain't that some shit? You don't even know who the fuck you are. No more. Mm -mm. You trying to cling on to any little lifeline on this bitch. Anything to stay relevant. Anything. But this is a open book right now. This is to get to know the person behind the madness that goes on on the YouTube streets. This is a documentary. Mm -hmm. It is. It's gone. Mm -hmm. People, y'all got to start standing up, believing, and fighting, and speaking on what you know that's wrong. When you see the problem, you get rid of the problem. You you address the problem because the problem is like a fungus. It's just going to keep growing and growing until it becomes to be deadly. Because I used to think old Blister was more of a danger. But in all reality, it, she, it, it's you. It's you. She over there cussing out all the trolls. I was fucking with her all day. But you, you want to be the one to call and get people fired from their jobs. See, you made the calls and I can't understand for the fucking life of me. Why would a person still want to be bothered with someone that did some shit like that? Nah, I'm good over here on my end. You believe that. I'm good. I'm not going to rock out with motherfuckers like that. I can't rock out with you. Because you ain't going to change. This you. You 60. This is this is you. This is all you got to give yourself at 60. That ain't nothing. You ain't giving away nothing. Nothing that's going to help somebody. Nothing that's going to make a person say, you know what? Damn. I thought I was alone, but I see other people going through the same shit. Anything. On top of defending a nigga that's locked up in jail on great charges. Huh? On great charges. And, and, and we the fucking problems. Hmm? We the ones with the issues. We not the nigga that's sitting next to the nigga that's in jail. We not the one sitting next to the nigga that's in jail without a bond. We're not the one sitting next to the nigga in jail that's going straight to motherfucking trial. Do not pass go. 
and do not collect $200. Straight to fucking trial, he goes. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Only a despicable person could protect a nigga like that. Could support a nigga like that. That a nigga like that. A lost soul that ain't got nowhere to go. Fucks with a nigga like that. At the middle of the ending of the beginning of a motherfucking day. That's what you represent. Trash. That's trash. Mm -hmm. And the sad part about it is you don't even give a fuck. If you weave out through all the chaos, uh, a lot of those evil-ass people had uh, an agenda that they wanted to uh, follow up through. And, and that's all. Maybe maybe they just wanted to pay each other. You know, and a lot of people saw that. So you can see it's just people that was out there to uh, conquer and divide. You know, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted uh, their own voice to be heard. You know, they're like, how the hell? He, 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 what the hell he doing here? You know, a lot of people, even the dudes uh, that, that came from, uh, I forget, uh, the guy named them. He was with, he was with Flappy Holmes. <laughs> he was with, yeah, he was with Flappy Holmes, the Flappy Holmes dude. He, he, he asked him, he, he tried to ask a uh, woman, like, what you doing here? Like, what's your purpose? Huh? What, you not paying attention? What? Yeah, the dude was like, what's your purpose of being here? You know, you were, you, you were uh, you know, like, TVA players, so what's your purpose here? So apparently he wasn't, you know, he wasn't listening to he was just trying to be an asshole. But, yeah, and so I met that one lady, and I kind of was, you know, off to myself because, again, I just spoke by spirit, and it was a lot of, you know, widows there um, that came. Hey, uh, but you know them men from uh, Bronx, because they had on good stakes. You know, they did all the cookies, so it was very mm-hmm. nice from the town. It was these outside. So, right. started emailing me with this bullshit. I'm like, who am I? By this time, I don't know if I'm his moderator. I don't think I'm the moderator. I'm just the person that showed up. She got why y'all emailing me. And even if I was the moderator, it wasn't no, like, you know, I didn't know one. Why y'all emailing me? Uh, yes, I'm a veteran. Yes, I've had these experiences, but were you? So, but that incident happened in the presence of Skinny. Okay? The husband. Right. And then the weed incident in Atlanta. Okay? I don't even know. I don't even see no more. Get out of here. I even, I even saw the, the lady, uh, I saw her there, the shoe driver as well, that's over there on uh, Skinny's, uh, I think she has, she has a Rachel. Uh, yeah, uh, she's she, she from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, I even uh, saw her. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah, I know, I know a lot about her, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I know a lot about her. I know she, I know she got illegal. <laughs> 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 a lot of these women, they hate girls, they don't want them. They don't want them. Yeah, they want to make it. I don't want to I don't get down like that, I don't get down like that. She's she, she aggressive too. I really don't think that any woman that get down like that, I don't think they they would want to get down like that with you. You're giving yourself a little too much right now. And what you're doing, that's messy. If a person get down and they do what they do, that's how they roll. That's how they rock. But you sitting here telling all this shit, laughing with this man, and don't give a fuck about it. On your wall, dragging for him. Mad. What you mad for? That's family. Family gonna stick together, baby. You ain't family. You ain't trying to help no situations or no issues on here. You ain't doing none of that. Nothing to help Nobody. All you know is how to put people down, step on them when they down, and that can be heavy. I mean, you ain't helping nobody. In other words, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Three years. 2020, 2020, three, four years I've been on this bitch watching you just fuck up everything. You see, you would never have to say that 504 is dead to you. And I'm a rock with a motherfucker that considers me dead. Mm -mm. No. I'm going to let somebody else play that fool because I'm not going to do it. 
And I'm not going to sit next to the motherfucker, sit next to that motherfucker that's going to do it. So I'm not. I ain't going to do it. It's sad to see a woman with so much venom. So much venom. You dragged for these women, and that's the same women you run back to. See, you ain't no soldier, baby. You ain't no soldier. You ain't strong. You ain't got no strength in you. Whatever you think you got is false. You ain't got that. Because a strong person don't hang out with who they feel like they talk about. And don't like. You see, I don't like a lot of these motherfuckers that I talk about. But you don't see me rocking with them either, do you? So you can't be no soldier. Nah, you ain't marching in step. Soldiers don't do that. Soldiers don't run back to who they consider the enemy. They don't do that. They run away. Are they standing and facing them head on? And it's either going to be me or it's going to be you. But it's going to be one of us. And maybe we both may stand and maybe one of us motherfucking won't. But we're going to do it that way. That's how you do it. You ain't no soldier. You ain't no soldier, baby. You ain't where your shit at. Soldiers are proud to show. You know what? Look at this. I fought for this country. I'm not going to let nobody disrespect me that I fought for. And I'm not going to hurt people who I saw get hurt and die on the front line or the war with. You too sneaky. Soldiers go head on with their shit. You throw rocks and you hide when you think you are, but you can't. You throw rocks and duck. That ain't soldier status. You've been using that shit for a long motherfucking time. I'm a veteran. I'm a soldier. I was in the army. What you learn? What you learn out the military? What did, what did you learn? Loyalty. You must have failed it. Honor, you feel that too. Brave, you ain't that either. Strong, that shit been lost. You ain't none of that. None of it. Once you lose loyalty and honor, you ain't got nothing. Military don't work like that, sweetie. My daughter's father, 23 years, active duty Navy, and now retired. And he's another one that when you look up at him, at tall, real fine. I ain't in love no more. <laughs> yeah. But when you look at him, you're going to know. He either was in the military or he a cop because they clean cut. They keep themselves up. They take care of themselves. Not you. You on this bitch eating gummies, looking nasty. You ain't taking care of yourself because you, you, you ain't sleep. You on here fucking over everybody and the shit is old. And guess what? You're aging from it. You ain't happy. This ain't happiness, baby. This ain't that. Mm -mm. No, no. You see, you want honor. You and you want loyalty, but you want loyalty to do wrong. You don't want loyalty to do right. And if ain't nobody being wrong with you, they did to you. 
So I'm going to stay dead to you. Period. Period. There is no, I'm going to fuck with the motherfucker who ain't no coming back and forth. I ain't got that kind of time. I'm getting older. I already fucked up a lot of my life. Now, I got it all together now. And I don't have no time to fuck around with nobody who ain't fucking around trying to better this. That'll trigger. Don't you know about triggering? This ain't military right there. Don't ask, don't tell. Don't tell. Don't ask. Ain't that the military? Hmm? That's how quick she'll get your ass blocked the fuck up. Nah, baby, I'm good over here. I don't want none of them fucking problems. None of them troubles. No, 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 no. Ain't no crawling back. It ain't even meant. That's too much. Too much trouble. Nigga just snitched. That ain't what they do in no military. Don't ask, don't tell. What's the clause? What, what, what is it? Then they ain't even witnessed it. Then didn't even witness the shit. Ain't that something? The motherfucker said sex trap tried to get her caught up in some shit that she ain't even see. Mm. 
How does that grab y'all? Mm, 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 mm. Ah, baby. I'm just going to say this and I'm going to put that out there for any one of y'all that won't catch it. Y'all ain't going to get nowhere fucking with her. Moon, you was getting money. You was stacking. When you was talking or dealing with KB and he, whatever it was he did, brought people, your money was, ooh, girl, you was getting a thousand. A stack. In one video. And still when you went live again, you was getting more, getting more, getting more. You fucked around with this bitch, and guess what? Everything. You lost everything. Your money, your subscribers, your views, your likes. And now she's content. Mission accomplished. You can't do better than her. None of y'all. Y'all, who she running back to? She ain't got nobody else. So y'all technically are the ones being used. Not 504. Not over here. Mm -mm, I see it all. Been seen it all. I'm not even going to disrespect myself and allow someone that I know don't give a fuck about me to come around me ever again. She gonna take your ass down too. Ain't no gaining. Ain't no gaining. And over here, ain't no back and forth going on. If ain't nobody fuck with me before, I ain't fucking with nobody right now. And that's how I feel about it. This woman don't do nothing but tear your shit apart. None of you will gain letting her come around you. And if you don't give a fuck about your monetization, if you don't give a fuck about that extra income that helps some kind of way, any extra is good when you getting it so your children and your grandchildren can eat. But y'all don't see that. Too scared to tell this bitch, fuck off. Leave me alone. I'm done. Don't come over here no more. No, that ain't what y'all do. You feel sorry for the bitch and you take her in. And she don't feel sorry for y'all when you lose all you fucking had. Start out with hundreds of thousands, end up at rock bottom. In a week is what she did with Mooney over there. And for some reason, y'all still can't tell that bitch bye. Still can't do it. Well, y'all gonna see. Just like I said, we the people and all that shit was going to fall and crumble. What did it do? Look at it now. That shit didn't even take a whole six months before it fell apart. I sat back and watched in the VIP because I knew it was going to go down. It was going to go down. And it did. All right, y'all. They got more left, but I'll save that for tomorrow because I got a whole nother video coming for tomorrow. And that's going to shed light too. This is all about me. I don't see nobody else doing it. So I'm a motherfucker doing it. You done revealed people. You done put people down. This ain't even revealing this is just the light being shined where it need to be. The light being shined where it stayed dark for so long. 
And you are a dark person. You really are. And you don't like it because you don't like to be corrected. You don't like to be told shit. You ain't no different than me. You could be told if I could be told. I love constructive criticism. It helps you. Because I can't always be right. So if I'm fucking up, somebody needs to tell me. And if nobody can't tell me, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. But I know one damn thing. I'm too strong to kiss anybody's ass. Those days are done. Hate me. Don't like me. I don't give a fuck. Because when I came on this bitch, I came on here alone. I've been befriended since day one. And the sad thing about it is, y'all keep thinking y'all got friends. Ain't no friends on the internet, baby. You barely got to watch the motherfuckers out here in the street. Now, they have people that will support. They have people that will, if they like you, they will follow you. Most of my people have been with me every fucking time y'all took my shit down. I think I got the beat off. Only one who has got taken down that many times by you and your crew. Nah, I'm different from the rest. I'm not going to open my arms to nobody that fucked me over the way you fucking everybody else over. All right, you guys. It's getting late. I got to give me a little resty rest for work in the morning. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. We have a couple of more videos that I got already ready to deal with. So let me see who all is in here so I can acknowledge my people. Since I ain't got a pew, I'm about to pew so I can go fuck up these ribs and my salad, Jeremy, and my ice cream. I'm going to punish it. You heard me? I tried to told y'all, but y'all ain't want to hurt me. I'm going to fuck that ice cream. Clean up. And then I'm going to snore. Y'all going to think the eclipse has come back. It's going to be 504. This is what I want y'all to do for homework tonight. And I want y'all to tell me about it when I when we come back and meet up tomorrow. What I want you to do is I want you to click on, listen to the planets in outer space. Like I did. Mm -hmm. I like shit like that. So I typed in, listen to other planets, right? And I listened to all of the different planets. The earth, all you hear in the background is cars and shit. That's for us. Uh, I'm going to tell you which one was the scariest. The scariest to me was Saturn. That sound like a bunch of dead people making some noises. Real eerie. All right, let me see when the hell in here so I can say good night. Monique, I'm calling out the people who I didn't see, the ones that I saw early. I love you. I love you. <clears throat> Diane was acting with it. I didn't see you earlier. Uh, Rachel, I had to see it. Keith, how are you? Nitty was that with it. You made it, up. Huh? Curtis, Leona, all my mods. Thanks for modding. I don't know if you had trolls. I'm not sure. But uh, <laughs> they'll learn sooner or later, you know. They can't break me either. I don't do. Well, I don't know what the fuck y'all even troll over here for. You wasting your time. <sighs> Trina. Yeah, Trina. Yeah. Yeah, Trina. And 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 where's 86K? 86K came up in here starting nothing but the mess. 
Thank you. 86K. Super chatted 100. And to the other ones that super chatted, thank you as well. Thank you. And the ones who ain't did it, thank you for the thought. You know, they say it's always the thought that counts. Ooh, let me get back to the roll call, baby. You hear me? I took a weekend vacation for my first ball and all hell rose. <laughs> Tell him, they sure the hell did. It's going down on the YouTube streams in this damn area of YouTube. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know who else going on tonight, but I'm sure going to watch while I'm going to sleep. I sure am. Sadly, how are you? Sadly, I've seen you, I think, before somewhere. Well, weren't you around with me one other channel ago? I think so. I remember that name somewhere. Cassandra. Hey, Cassandra. How are you? Curtis. Ert, ooh, I'll be so ready to say Ert D. Ert Q. All right, Venus Sketch 22. I'm going to watch when you do them tarot cards again. Uh, yeah, yeah, the tarot cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little tink tink over there. Pull a little tink tink. Pull, 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 Mrs. Thomas. That was on uh, what you call Miss Connie, how are you? How are you? Cavs again. Thank you for becoming a member. Curtis, again, thank you for the super chats. Thank you. Nehemiah, how are you? How have you been, Nehemiah? Jake, what's going on, baby? Nehemiah, I ain't seen you in a minute, but I see you came through. Welcome again. Sassy. Let me tell you something, Sassy. I've been seeing you. That I didn't believe she was in the military. I just didn't. I mean, I've been around all kind of type of military. I just never felt that. Nah, I never felt that at all. Some people say things for whatever reasons, but I never believed that. Angel. All right, I got black gal. I got you. Sassy. Shirley, I didn't see you when you came in, Shirley. Monique, oh Lord, a whole nother lot just came in. I'm back at the bottom again. Lisa Love, Madeline, what's going on, baby? Logan, and as a new play in the league to allow her to enter the game for me. Well, guess what? She probably gonna go ahead and throw a little touchdown for you. You heard me? Shay was popping, Shay. How you been, boo? Mammy, I still had to say it because I like to say it. Mammy, sick em, dog. Root, 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 root. What's up, sick em? Logan, waka waka. Okay, blister, blister failed again. But she over there doing cartwheels and shit again, you know? She's over there doing gymnastics outside in the yard. Michael. Mm -hmm. She is having a ball over there, fucking up everybody's uh section. And I'm not going to lie to you. This shit is hilarious. It really is. It's sad to see. But it's just kind of funny to see someone just don't have no fucking sense. No common sense at all. Jenny. What's happening with it, Jenny? Jenny, where I saw you last night? I was watching somebody's chat. I mean, watching a, a video, and you were in the chat. I don't know. I don't know, girl. I just saw your name, and I said, oh, okay. Nini. Oh, Nini. Rita. Woody. Woody, I know you about to go about 10, baby. You be ready to go to sleep. I already know what time of day it is with you. Champagne. Okay, welcome. Champagne. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Tarot Dome. This is the goat house. You got to be a goat to be up in here, you heard me? Because I'm the goat. 
Y'all the cool stressors and stressors. So, whatever. All that and then some. Now, let me get the hell up out here. There's a lot of damn names. Trying to give them. Miss Connie. Now, you know I had to see you. You know I had to see you. Had to. Mm-hmm. All right. Whew, it ain't stopping. It ain't stopping. It's going back to the bottom, then back to the top. Let me see. T- Tanisha. I think I just seen Tanisha. Miss Akimi. Hey, Miss Akimi. You made it. Good. Did y'all see Miss Akimi video she did last night? Y'all gotta go see that video. Cause I was over there. Mm-hmm. The video she did last night. Jenny, you was over there too, I think, huh? I was over there by now. That was a damn good video last night. Real good content. Uh I don't know if you go again late tonight. <laughs> okay. Watch that one too. Shit. BGPO. Machine fit. I knew I seen your name somewhere. I knew I did. I knew I did. Kevin, I seen some names though that I didn't see earlier. Tonisha, I think I saw. All right. Falco. Okay, I knew I seen somebody. Okay. Then I got champagne again. All right. All right, you guys. If I didn't make it all the way to the top, that's because it's a bunch of y'all in here tonight. But we going to get up on top of this thing and we going to go ahead on and meet up again tomorrow. And uh, I, I really think y'all going to be entertained by the other two videos that you're going to see tomorrow. Yeah, y'all going to be entertained with those. Because it's some old one is a one is a one is a I ain't going to tell it. Do it for the vine. I ain't going to do it. Do it for the vine. I ain't going to do it. Y'all remember that? That shit went out of whack real cool, real quick. Let me get the hell up off here. I love you all, but I got to get the hell asleep. I'm tired, and I'm going to fuck up these ribs. Y'all want one? I'm going to think about it while I'm eating them. If I got some left, I might ship them. Amazon Prime might. Oh, fuck it. Good night. I'm out. Ooh, I can't get up off here, Lord, because I enjoy being on here talking to y'all ass. That's why. Thank you. I feel the phones vibrating. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't say names unless y'all ask me to. But y'all have a good night. I'm going my ass uh, to bed. Mm -hmm. Honey, 69. I caught you. Y'all trying to... Yeah, girl. Nehemiah, I got to eat some damn ribs. I got to get it out my system. You know, when you're craving, you just got to get it out. Oh, I love you too, Nehemiah. You going to still love me if I eat the pork? Huh? I like pork, you know. I know they dirty and shit, you know. I, I don't like pig lips. I used to eat pig lips and shit, but I can't eat no pig lips no more. Because somebody told me what a pig lip really is. And I'm not about to, let me get the hell up off of here. Y'all have a good night. I will see you all tomorrow. Meeting in the ladies room. I'll be there real soon. Good night. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.